baby, I got range. Step back, flick the wrist and let it hang. How do I do this, baby? I got range. Load the clip, let it pop, pop till it bang. I'm making a real quick shout out. Uh, shout out to my friend Tiana who gave me these glasses a few months ago. Can't see in them, but it doesn't matter. Camera's over here, sir. Oh, right.
inspiration was DJ being the center of the going back to music. And, you know, I just got the thought and I made the beat. I wanted to hold two beats, it didn't work out, but then I made this three part beat. I was obviously the loops and the switches. Um, DJ liked it and I tried to build some lyrics, but DJ, DJ was already locked in and we got it overnight. And then we got to do this in March. We was able to, um, we was able to actually mix it and then do some, something called Band Lab. Yeah, that's how it worked out.
and some of you don't know, I'm young, right? I'm like 19, right? <laughs> It's not your birthday. Are you recording? Hmm? Recording? Yeah. Ooh. 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give you a happy 16. Happy 16. What is that? What is that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Like, I know you're trying to choose what college you go to, but when's the last time you prayed with your person and say, What college God are you sending me to? I know you what, when I grew up, I grew up in California, living in Beverly Hills, and I'm going to travel to see Paris, and all this stuff is fine, but guess what? You're a Christian. That means you're living with a mandate. That means God has a miracle work of power God inside of you, and God did not choose you or pick you or hardwire you with talent just to be talented. He wants to use those gifts at a point in time, at a point in place. You're on assignment, and many times young people, we sit around and we live our lives all of our parents' decisions and never make our own. Now, it's okay to submit to your parents' decisions, but you have a choice to make, too. Are you going to get serious about football? Stop playing games. Why did God make you so tall? See, the reason why some of us have not found our mission is because you have not found the right voice in your life to say who you are before you live. That's why youth ministry is important. That's why ministry names are important. That's why having pastors are important. That's why taking time to pause and celebrate the fact that you're 16 is important. Because it's time for you to reflect and become prophetic. When you reflect and start thinking of the goodness of God and how all how your school actually got alarmed for a school shooter and how dare you sit in your seat and not give God a praise when you went to a school where they actually was a gun call on campus, but you're still in your seat right now and you haven't given, given God praise. But God's been doing some crazy things. We had a whole basketball team come to church today. And like 70% of the basketball team got saved. The whole kid had to go back to the team. The whole team. In my sermon, it has to be all basketball stuff. And I didn't know basketball team was showing up. That was the Holy Spirit. All right. So the Old Testament prophesies the coming of Jesus students. And then Jesus looks back at the Old Testament. It says this, I found my assignment. Now, Jesus could have been like, no, that's for the old people. Why would Jesus read the words of Isaiah? Why would Jesus go back to the Old Testament to do something new? Why would God care about what your grandma told you when you were five years old to do something when you were 15? Why would God want you to remember the words of your grandfather even though he's not here no more? We want you to take over this Orangeburg mission. We want you to speak up during leadership meetings. You can share ideas. You can you can be a part of things. You can start thinking about BBS right now. You don't gotta wait for it to get high. You have to come up with ideas right now. He fulfilled the Old Testament because he used it as his launching pad. Raise your hand if your grandma knew how to pray. 
Don't do it. You not afraid of it. Look at me. You not afraid of it. There's no way God has your grandma know how to pray without the fruit of you not afraid. Yeah. You might be relying on grandma's prayers, but will you be the grandparent one day to your great grandkids and rely on your prayers? Someone say prayers in my family. Mm-hmm. And what does have the right to share your faith with like today? Maybe you're not supposed to go around wearing Jesus loves you shirts. Maybe you're supposed to be commenting under that post on social media where everybody's saying RIP, RIP, and all they do is say, man, it's messed up, man, I'm gonna mess up. Maybe you're supposed to comment and say, hey, how can I pray for you? Yeah. Do you know that simple question, can I pray with you? That is an object that you have to face. Yo, this is Minister David here. Thank you so very much for watching this video. I want to make sure you do two things. Make sure you hit that thumbs up on this video, as well as also make sure you click on that notification. Actually, I'm going to add a third thing. Make sure you subscribe. Yes, we need you to subscribe to our amazing channel because we want to make sure that everybody knows that you can experience power in Christ. Peace.